We have been calling for a new contract for several years now. There are clearly issues with our current terms and conditions of service. These include the potential negative impacts on training, with some perverse incentives affecting juniors attendance at the training opportunities, such as attendance at post operating this wardrobes. Any new contract has to recognise that we are professionals and that we will continue to work as professionals. We have seen more failing pay boundings, with increasing numbers of foundation year doctors in unbounded posts. It is clearly not ideal to see such significant falls in income for our members, when many students are now finishing the university with debts of £25,000 or more. Despite our desire for contract negotiations, there has been little movement from the government and the employers. We have to be aware that the current economic climate is not necessarily the most attractive one for entering into negotiations. We are still trying to negotiate a new contract for juniors. However, we realise that this is a long and involved process. It is therefore important that juniors continue to make the most of their current contract. We have been encouraging juniors to stand up for their rights and really take the lead in maintaining their current employment standards. As you've heard from Shree earlier today, we have run a campaign on maximising our current contract over the past few months. Information for members on this can be found on our website. I would encourage you all to look at this information and make the most of both your contract and BMA membership. I know that there have been many issues in the press recently about the quality of patient care. Clearly, the events in Mid Staffordshire are completely unacceptable, and the profession as a whole has a duty to ensure that similar problems are brought to light and solved as quickly as possible. I believe that often in the NHS, junior doctors are an untapped resource. It is unfortunately rare for juniors to be involved in management and leadership, and I think we have a duty to address this issue. I believe that we must take the lead when it comes to patient safety. And I would encourage you all to look at your working environment and the quality of care that you deliver to patients. I think employers and managers need to ensure that they are involving juniors in management structures within the NHS. I think it is time for the junior doctors in particular to take the lead in highlighting concerns around patient safety. We are the ones on the shop floor. We are the ones who are often in the best position to identify problems and to propose solutions. Juniors need to be empowered to take the lead. Obviously, we need to be aware that sometimes working within NHS structures is not enough, and we need to know when it is appropriate to blow the whistle. Whistleblowing is just one area that the BMA has been working on. I'm very keen for more juniors to become involved with the work of the BMA. It is possible to really influence the work that we do, and I would hope that many of the people present in this room will continue to be involved and continue to influence policy after conference. Who knows? Someone new to the BMA today may be standing here where I am in three years' time. There are other challenges for the BMA, including the increasing divergence of health systems amongst the nations of the UK, and we've just heard a motion. I believe that we will continue to effectively deal with the pollution, and I believe strongly that UK-wide representation is critical. I think juniors need to take the lead. I think we need to take the lead in improving training quality. We need to take the lead in producing real-world solutions to the problems with the EWTD in training. We need to take the lead in driving up the quality of care to patients, both now as trainees and in the future as consultants and leaders of the profession. There are great opportunities now for junior doctors to exert influence and make positive changes. I think it is vital that we work together to take these opportunities. Thank you.